So I went to my book club. I got to the book club to enjoy discussing books and learning and getting other people's opinions and views, right? So why in the world was the librarian who's leading the group serving homemade ice cream and cake? And everybody there was all excited, like maybe this was a regular thing. And maybe that was my first time at that particular book club. And as the food went around, I had no interest in it whatsoever. And the woman next to me looked at me and said, boy, I wish I had your willpower. And it took me a moment to register willpower. What the heck is she talking about? I'm Reverend Allie Bierman, and you're joining me here today for Let's Get Metaphysical, finding out what drives us that's out of our awareness. Do you ever have a feeling or a desire for something, but you have an argument going on inside you? Should I? Shouldn't I? Should I? Shouldn't I? That wasn't happening to me. It wasn't an element. There wasn't even a consideration. Why? Because I don't eat that kind of stuff. When I look at that kind of stuff, I ignore it because I feel if I eat that, I'm going to wind up feeling cruddy, if not today, down the road. So to me, that was rat poison. So of course, I wasn't interested in it. What do you do when there's something in your life that you really want to avoid? Well, if you're having a debate inside you, you're not going to win. Willpower doesn't work. What can you do instead? No who you are, know what you like, know what you desire, know what doesn't serve you. If something doesn't serve me, I'm not going to be part of it. I'm not going to choose something I know is going to hurt me or make me feel bad or feel cruddy or just be bored. Why would anybody do something that leaves them feeling less than great? If something's not speaking to me from my heart, I have absolutely no desire to be part of it. Somebody's ice cream and cake doesn't speak to me from my heart. A lot of activities that people do I have absolutely zero interest in them. So I'm not going to put myself in a position of being unhappy. Do you put yourself in positions of not really being satisfied. Maybe you're with a group of friends and they're doing something you don't really want to do. Maybe they're doing a group. Maybe that group is doing some things that you know is not going to feel good to you. It's not willpower that's keeping you from participating. Do what your heart is telling you feels good for you. If you're going up into your ego mind, you're going to get all kinds of misinformation. Yes. You got to come from your heart. You want to do what feels, not thinks, but feels right for you in that moment. Is it going to let me feel good? It's going to let me feel relaxed. Is it going to let me feel happy? It's going to let me feel safe. Or is it going to leave me wishing I wouldn't I wish I had made that choice? Because now I'm going to have to deal with the aftermath of it. How do you choose when you're faced with a dilemma that is only a dilemma? If you're choosing to see it that way. What are some other ways that you can avoid having to say, oh, I don't have the willpower. Oh, I'm not strong enough. Oh, I'm not good enough. None of that is any reflection. None of that has any truth for you. And the decisions you make, the decisions you make are coming from within. They're coming from a place 
that has nothing to do with that ego mind. The mind is always going to be sorting for what's wrong or what's missing or what's dangerous. But your heart knows what keeps you safe. Your heart knows what feeds you with love. For me, I'm not interested in doing anything that leaves me questioning why did I make that choice. For me, I'm going to make choices that feel good in moment because they're the choices that I'm feeling, not thinking about, not considering. They're feeling that says, yes, yes, this is for me right now. It feels right. And if I'm not getting that message, I'm not choosing. So is there such a thing as willpower? Seriously? I doubt it. I don't think there's ever a situation in anybody's life where willpower is going to work. How about you? What do you think? Share with us what you're thinking. You can do that down below. As I said, I'm Reverend Ellie Behrman. This is Let's Get Metaphysical Show. And you can join our Facebook group. All these links will be in the show notes. You can go to our website where you can listen to or watch any of our episodes. We are now in season four. We have lots of episodes. Chances are you can find lots of topics that are fit for you where you are in your life. Now, because... What we're jumping into in this season is the fact that all your decisions in life, they're not necessarily coming from what your mind's telling you. They're not resulting from you making a pro and a con list. They're coming from what's in you, within you, in your heart, driving your choices now. That's true in your business. That's true in your recreation. That's true in your social life. How come you decided to choose to do that activity with that person instead of the other activity with the other person who maybe invited you to do the other thing first? It's all the invisible forces driving your life. If you've not yet done so, take advantage of Audible, offering you the choice to download a free audiobook of your choice. Go in there, you have a free trial, 30 days, look around. There's phenomenal stuff in there. I love Audible. I've been doing it forever. I have over 100 audiobooks. I like to learn. One of the ways I like to learn, one of the ways I enjoy being entertained is audio books. And right now I'm on my third. It's a course taught by a university professor. Oh my gosh, it comes with a PDF of every lecture he gives, right? There's all kinds of stuff, but you'll only find it if you click the link and grab your free trial. Look around for 30 days. Remember to enjoy every moment because nothing, absolutely nothing in your life happens outside of you. It all happens within. I look forward to being here with you next time.